want people to forget the same diplomats to forget that they, there was no procurement system on the APNU, and we've demonstrated that. No procurement system that they did not submit their, their that although there's an integrity commission law, they didn't submit their statements of income and asset to the integrity commission, that several ministers from their government are now charged for corrupt activities. So they, they take a couple of issues and make it the prevailing condition. We have strengthened our procurement system. Jack Deal must be living in an alternate universe, or he is detached from the reality faced by ordinary Guyanese. However, in our view, Jack Deal's attempt to dismiss the daily hardships of ordinary Guyanese are directly due to him and his party's heartlessness for the plight of the vast majority of citizens across all regions and ethnic groups. What this uh, means for the Democratic side, also the Republican side, we can first start with the Democratic side. We know that since this news, there have been uh, many Democrats that have come forward saying, you know what, I'll put my name in the race because I don't think VP Harris is the best pick, while others are throwing all of their support behind VP Harris. You're giving our supporters more benefit. afro Guyanese are not getting anything from this government do enjoy the progress. If you people know too, the diplomats, some of them are laugh at these people when they tell us about it because they're here and they, they know what's going on. And they know that they will come with a script. So whoever they meet, this is the script. They have, go with these talking points and they would say like, like what Nigel used it. And I explained a couple of weeks ago, he'd go with a th something and say, look at GWI here. The PPB claims that it has increased disposable income by tens of millions of dollars is a mirage, as most of it has been swallowed up by the high and increasing cost of living. Jack Doe's response at his press conference yesterday that all this is how the free market works, further exposes his indifference and his cluelessness in economic management. That's the thing, Rich. Uh, many legislators are feeling, well, if President Joe Biden can't continue the race, uh, how right. can he still maintain the presidency right now as commander in chief? Correspondents from the embassy here up to Washington named the individual who told them this. And guess who he was? One of the PNCR members. That is what they were doing then lying vilifying the government quietly so that it will get into the u.s circles oh we're linked we gave roger Khan this large tract of forested land which was not true it was a lie blatant lie we would have never found out who did this we have called for the following one the provision of a 50 percent salary increase to public servants at the time two the raising of the tax-free threshold to have fifty thousand per month to put more money in the hands of the over 200,000 Guyanese workers in the public and private sectors. Three, the development of regional agriculture to reduce the costs of food. Four, the provision of large grants to help farmers purchase equipment to bring costs down around you know people saying a lot of republicans came together and finally uh, realizing what former president donald trump stands for for the republican party but can we actually see is it realistic to think that vp kamala harris can go head to head with former president donald trump and if so what does that mean yes we don't really know um the only thing we do know about her in terms of her electoral bona fides is she did win a senate race in 2016. one love delta nine family welcome back to the flight now we got so many things to talk about. This is just the intro to the full length live video that we'll be uploading later on. But there's so much for us to talk about. Now the US might see its first female president or at least the first female presidential candidate that's gonna go up against former President Trump. But can she actually win in such a race? This and we're going to get into the conversation that Norton is having about the astronauts in the PPP. Look, 
that's a whole other story and the live is coming up later on today then we're gonna hear from the vp himself vp jack deal and he's gonna expose who these snitches are that gave out information allegedly to the u.s about the government we're gonna get into that and have a lot of other conversations in the full length live that'll be coming up later on today if you want to stay tuned make sure that you're subscribed and guess what hit this thumbs up button so that thanks for watching